Hey everybody, welcome to the XD Daily Creative Challenge. I'm Jesse Showalter, I'm your host for the day. Just getting all the technicalities set up here, but uh, I'm excited to be here and we got the stream going. So if you are uh, watching this stream, you can make sure to click in the challenges tab later on and grab the starting file from this. But I wanna say hi to Jack, say hi to Tim, say hi to Jennifer and Ariana, and uh, we got Toxic Flow back in the house again. This is day five of the XD Daily Creative Challenge. Really, really excited to be here. So let me know in the chat where you're coming from. Let me know uh, uh, where you are chatting from and joining us today and how, how it's been going with the Daily Creative Challenge uh, th with last week being a shorter week and we got Monday through Friday this week. So going to have a lot of fun. So uh, we're going to kick over really quickly. If you're not sure what the Daily Creative Challenge is, well, hey to Francisco, hey to Taria, hey to Satish and Jamon. Thanks for joining us on the Daily Creative Challenge. Really, really excited. Uh, we are going to jump over over right here to behance.net slash challenge slash XD. And this is where you can find more information about the Daily Creative Challenge. If you look right up, oh, right over here, you'll see uh, that each day you're gonna receive a challenge. And those challenges are unlocked down below. Uh, we've gone through repeat grid components, auto animate, libraries, and today the challenge that's unlocked is called component states. Uh, all of the challenges, are kind of working under the idea of a new year, new me. So resolutions, fitness, wellness, health, all that kind of good stuff. And so you can click right here to get started uh, and get that starting file. And then uh, when you are all done and my computer stops being so slow, we can scroll back up and uh, you can join the community chat. We've got the live chat going on right now and inside the live chat, we've got people from Egypt, from Boston, Massachusetts, from Alameda, California, from India, we got people all over the globe joining us, but you also wanna jump in to our Discord chat. And so we can open up Discord. Where did Discord go? There it is. And in Discord we have on the Adobe XD's uh, Discord, we have over 30,000 creatives and Adobe does a great job of facilitating challenges and giving feedback. And you can see inside of the current challenges tab, we have uh, all the people who've been posting stuff from this series of the Daily Creative Challenge. So you can see we have, uh, um, some application remakes. Here's our daily creative challenge four. That was our sneakers, our like our shoe e-commerce application, and all of a lot of these have links up to the Behance. So we're gonna be looking at some of these a little bit later. But that's how you get started there. Um, we're gonna kick back over, and we see uh, after you uh, have signed up for all the chat and the good stuff, you're gonna be watching these daily creative challenges. You're gonna be watching the live show. Follow along with me. Grab that starter file, and then afterwards, you want to share your work up to Behance, really, really important that as you're sharing your work to Behance, you wanna use that hashtag XD Daily Challenge. We can kick over to Behance and search for XD Daily Challenge, and there's all your amazing works right there. It's all happening, it's all looking amazing. And so uh, we have a link in the chat Tim just posted uh, for the Discord sign up and for some other stuff. So make sure to check that stuff out and be active in the chat so we can be answering your questions as we get going. But we do have to get going, we got some stuff to do. So. Let's kick over to Adobe XD if we can, and uh, let's hide our Discord. My computer's being a little slow today. If you open up our starting file, you'll see that we have uh, these items in the starting file. We are day five, uh, Monday morning. A little bit about the challenge, let's zoom in. Uh, we're designing a movement tracker today for like a yoga-focused application. So uh, as we design though, we're gonna wanna be trying to prototype different button states using the new component states inside of XD. Uh, component states for the win. Really excited about that. Uh, we have some inspirations down below and then we also have some icons and other resources that you can look up. And I have an empty artboard over to the side. And in Friday's stream, we did a lot of work in Adobe CC library. So I'm gonna bring up my library. We have some elements already in our libraries um, and these are the elements I'm gonna be using. So feel free to find your own resources. They don't have to be these ones, but I did find these ones off Adobe stock because there's a large selection of stuff there. Um, okay, so let's dig right in. We're talking about a yoga tracker. We're gonna wanna put some yoga moves. Uh, before we even get started into that, everybody needs to put their favorite yoga move name because I actually don't know a lot. I'm gonna do my best <laughs> to try to remember as many yoga moves as I possibly can. Uh, so let's jump in and try it out. Um, uh, I'm gonna bring that libraries back up. And I don't know about you guys, but sometimes it's always just fun to start with an image. Uh, images give you color, they give you inspiration. So I have a nice image in here. Uh, I'm gonna drag that onto 
my screen. Let's hide my libraries for now. And that is a massive image. So we are just going to hold it uh, by the corner, by the edge there, shrink it down. And that's looking pretty good. All right, so let's pop that up into the top left corner and Let's put that right there. Now, you will notice that I've already seen this image, so I pulled some colors. We got some, kind of a, like a nice neutral muted green. We have this nice kind of vanilla sky color that's in there. We're gonna be playing with those. So, um, okay, cool, cool, cool. What should we do next? You know, in our, in our e-commerce shoe experience, we played with shapes and my wife watched that stream and she said she liked the organic shapes. So we're gonna bring some of that organic shape stuff back. So why don't we uh, take our pen tool really quick and just let's get set up here and let's create a square. We probably could have just used the rectangle tool. We probably should have just used the rectangle tool, but you know, it's fine. It all works out. Um, hold on, where did it go? There it is. There you are. Okay, we're gonna take the border off and why don't we zoom in really quick. I'm gonna hit enter and I'm just gonna add a pen point right there. I'm gonna take that pen point Woo, I tell you what, let's do this all over. I'm messing up like in a big, big way. I'm gonna take my rectangle, just draw my rectangle out. That's gonna make it a lot easier. Let's just butt it up against our image and bring it down right over here. Take that border off. And now let's hit enter, bring our pen tool up. And why don't we just manipulate this guy right here? I'm gonna put another pen tool spot right there. And uh, yeah, we're, we wanna enter into that. Let's get our layers panel up so we can see what we're doing. We've definitely made a path, so that's working out pretty good. And I don't wanna affect those other pins. I'm having some little problems here right now. All right, well, we're gonna, we're gonna improvise. I'm gonna make a shape like so and come across. Maybe something's wrong with my keyboard today. I'm not sure, but we're gonna fill that with white too. And let's open up the options there. Double click it and get our Bezier curves. I'm just gonna drag this out evenly across the side right there. And let's just bring our shape that we've made up. Now that's really crazy. So we just wanna bring that down a little bit. And why don't we just combine these so they are one shape. I'm gonna make sure that they're butted up against each other. We'll combine them. All right, we got some sort of shape working. And now we can work our background. Boy, that's a rough way to start out the stream, just failing miserably on <laughs> on basic shapes. You ever just having a Monday? I'm having a Monday, I think, maybe. That's all right. You guys will forgive me. It's a safe place to design and mess up uh, while you're designing, okay? So I'm kind of digging this. I'm gonna just chill this one out a little bit more or maybe a little bit less. I don't know, yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, let's do that. Now, I kind of want to have a dark overlay. I think I want to put the text directly on top of the image. So to do that, I'm gonna bring another shape in. I'm gonna draw it down there like that. I'm gonna use command or control bracket left just to move it behind. And then I'm gonna make that a, ooh, here we go. Yeah, my computer's just running a little bit slow today. We're gonna make that a, a darker color. So why don't we just get our color picker out. Let's click off of it for a second. And hopefully my computer doesn't freeze up like it's doing. Hmm, interesting. Okay, technical difficulties on a Monday. Okay, I'm gonna try to, excuse me really quick, sorry. I'm gonna try to connect the old mouse because maybe it's my trackpad that's not working. Let's see if we can get that to work. Having some technical difficulties. All right, let's try that again. Grab that shape, take the border off of it. It's working now, I think. Fill, okay. Can we get a fill on this thing? Maybe, yeah, we're gonna fill it dark like that. All right. And so far so good, kind of. Let's just see if I can get my mouse to, to kick into gear here. It'd be help if I would turn my mouse on. All right, so we got a mouse connected. Let's see if that helps us out a little bit in this process. Let's just bring the opacity of this down. And I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring a little bit of that blurred effect. So let's grab our image. Let's background blur. Oh, that is a lot of blur. So let's bring that down like so. What happened, what happened? Let's go back, man. Here we go, make sure we're grabbing our image. Okay, background blur, not working. Okay, um, all right, let's right click on the image and see what we can do. Hmm, 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 Every day, somebody said LOL, every day. All right, 
Uh, we're going to unlink the graphic. Maybe that's we're having a problem there. Or maybe my computer is just chugging along. We're not sure. But if we have to simplify this design, that's what we'll do. Yeah, that's not working. The background blur is not working. Okay. This is probably just a lot of me and my technical setup. So let's just darken that. We won't even do the blur. But let's bring some text out. Let's see if we can do that. Um, and let's name this yoga practice or this this yoga session that we're having. How about meditation? That's not how you spell meditation. Meditation and breathing. Let's do breathing and Adobe XD always helping me spell because I can't spell at all. You guys know that um, and you love me for it anyways. So let's get a white color for our text there and let's zoom in a little bit. All right. Looking pretty good. All right, I'm gonna zoom in and you guys just stick with me even though I'm having some technical difficulties. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm using uh, Titling Gothic today. Uh, found it on Adobe Typekit, kind of a cool, fun uh, ser sans serif font. Um, and But let's use just some different variations of this font. So I'm going to try to grab like a, maybe let's go standard, see what that looks like. Okay, I like that. And let's bump it up to, I don't know, maybe we'll bump it up to like 22 or something like that. So we've bumped it up to 22. That's looking pretty good. Okay. I'm going to close a few things that were running just to try to speed up my computer. I apologize, everybody. Yikes, yikes, yikes. It's just one of those days. Just having one of those days, aren't we? Okay. Yikes. We just want to quit stuff. We want to make stuff work here. Let's kick back over here and let's talk a little bit just for a second while we get the technical difficulties ironed out. Okay. I'm going to force quit a few things on my computer, man. Yeah. So the goal is I want to blur that background layer. Um, I want to just have contrast, right? So the idea is when you're working with text on top of images, that can be kind of a tough thing to do because it, it just, there's not a lot of clarity, the typography. So we want to make sure we're having that clarity. Background blur is a good way to do it. A dark overlay is a good way to do that. Um, and uh, yeah, so there's a couple little tips and tricks. Um, somebody says, Vlad says it'd be cool to use Grammarly inside of XD. That would be pretty cool because Grammarly is pretty rad, uh, but that's because how horrific I am at grammar and spelling, right? So I'd be a big fan of that. Toxic Flow, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, everybody, for being so encouraging while I'm just figuring out these issues. Yeah, issues are rough. Okay, so let's see. Any, anybody got any questions while I'm figuring, remember figuring this out? Um, you ask me any question and I will answer it. Uh, it could even be my favorite food. You never know, I might answer it. Um, okay, so let's just see if we can get some stuff crank in here. All right. Well, we might be back. Let's try Let's try to be back, shall we? Okay. So where do we leave off? We left off with some text right here. Let's duplicate that text. And why don't we see if our computer will let us drop the typography weight down to something a little bit more standard. Okay. So we're going from standard. Let's go to light. Okay. And then let's take the size of that text down as well. Um, let's see, let's see, where was your, my favorite micro interactions you do most of the time on Adobe XD? Mm, that's a good question. Um, well, what's your favorite mic? You know, honestly, we're going to cover some of those in here in a second, if we can get this to work. So you stick with me and I might just, I might just talk about that, Frankie. Um, all right. What is the app about Jess? Ah, it's going to be a yoga app that tracks the steps that you're taking. Okay. So let's just write a little something in here, like meditation is a great way to relax and uh, let's put relax and focus something like that okay now let's change that to area text over here in our inspector panel and then why don't we then take our text and shrink it down make it the right size for the area okay so we're gonna grab that area text there it is and let's Shrink down like so, that's fine. We just put a little something like that. And why don't we just play around a little bit and bring our libraries back up. And why don't we, uh, I like this little stretching one right here. So let's bring this icon into play, into our design. And let's try to make it a nice white color, okay? So it pops as well. And then uh, I'm thinking we're gonna, we're gonna, as soon as we can, skip the rest of this setup and get right to components and component states because that's the real magic that we're trying to focus on today. Um, you guys could watch me design 
all sorts of weird stuff. But what's what's really great is to just see how your workflow gets straight up blown away by components and states. All right, let's start making some components and states and stop messing with the stuff up top, okay? Because I'm afraid I'm going to run out of time. Let's, uh, let's grab some of our text. Let's drag it down here. And why don't we fill it with a color that we can see? So it's not white on white text because nobody likes that. Um, all right, we're going to pick our green color. And why don't we just shrink this down a little bit? Um, if we can, come on now, computer, you can do it. I'm sure you can. Let's go up to like 14 and uh, we'll also go back down to like a different weight, okay? Somebody said they liked my laugh. Thank you. Because <laughs> uh, I, who's, who's not self-conscious of their laugh? That's, that's my question because um, I know I am. Let's go back down to a light. Okay, so we got something working there and we want to create uh, let's do the simplest version of a component state first and we'll see if we dig it, okay? Um, how about we do a toggle switch? And before, if you want to do a toggle switch, let's build a little toggle switch really, really quick. Let's take a rectangle shape. Let's drag a rectangle out like so. Okay, we're going to take the border off that rectangle and we're going to change the fill for that rectangle and we'll use, I don't know, some version of our green. So everything kind of has a consistent color palette to it. Okay, so we'll use our green, but let's lighten it up so it's not so intense. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit uh, onto our design and just see if we can get this thing going. All right, so we're gonna just bend the corners in a little border radius. This is probably a little bit long and a little bit shallow, but let's just make sure it's good there. Okay, let's zoom, zoom in a little bit more. And now let's do an ellipse and we will just draw our ellipse right inside of this guy, who has used component states and who is using them constantly in their workflow because you're so amazed at the power of them. Let me know what you're, what you're, how you're using them, the, mo the coolest thing you've used them for so far. So uh, I have my little toggle switch right there. We could probably drag this in, doesn't need to be that long. Let's add a little bit of shadow in there. Look at that, it's already looking really nice. I like it. Now we could take this, Right, let's just uh, lock our background, Command or Control L to lock that background. Let's press Command or Control K and make a component out of this. Now down below in our components tab, we see we have, let's just call that toggle, okay? So we have a toggle switch down there in our components tab and, oh, maybe we do, maybe if we can name it, I don't know. It's not named toggle, it's named something else that's really ugly, but that's fine. Um, okay, cool, so. Let's take our toggle switch now and come back here. We have our toggle. Oh, you know what? We messed up. We needed to take both of those and create a toggle out of them, okay? So now we have our toggle switch. And what we want to do is create a new state. Now, before, if we wanted to create different states for components or for buttons or for in like stuff like that to have interactions, we had to create an entire separate artboard. We had to check out what we had to do. We had to come over here and then we had to move this over and change it and then animate in between the two. Not anymore. That's the old way of doing things. The new hotness is to come into our component. We see we have component master and it now has in our inspector panel. Let me just zoom in so we can see it has a default state created there underneath that component. Okay, let's zoom back out. We can create a new state to that component by pressing plus. Let's do a new state by just clicking right there and hoping that our computer catches up to how fast our brains move. And then we're gonna call that state two. Let's call it, I don't know, let's call it active or on or inactive. We call it whatever we want, okay? Right now, this kind of looks like the active state, doesn't it? So let's go back. Now you can click back and forth between these two states that are up here in this inspector. So I'm gonna click there and let's take our fill and just kind of fix things up a little bit, okay? Um, if we can, grab our fill. Jack Watson says he loves component states. I enjoy trying to get as much as possible to happen in one single artboard, right? It's, it's such a good feeling when you can do that. Like when you can just have lots of good stuff happening. Oh man, we are just struggling today. Let's see. All right, you know what? We're gonna keep the default state like that. So what we're gonna do is we are going to click over to our active state. We're gonna change what that state looks like. I'm gonna click into my component. I'm gonna drag this over to the other side. I'm gonna grab my background and we're gonna give our background a neutral state to show that it has it's turned off basically, right? So let's, let's pick a, a more neutral state there, like really neutral like so. Okay, now 
the magic's about to happen. Are you ready? Because technically in the back end, uh, XD is still going to be doing some prototyping. So what we're going to do is head over to our prototype and we're just going to click right on the blue button. It links out kind of to nothing it looks like, but what it's saying is it's linking out to another state or version of itself. So when we tap this, we want to auto animate and we want to choose the state that it actually pushes out to. Okay. So let's, let's try that really quick. Let's link out or prototype out to the active state. That looks pretty good. Computer still catching up. All right. And then what we want to do is we want to make sure we have our component selected. Let's go to our active state and do the same thing. Tap auto animate, choose the state back to the original one. So let's do that. Um, things are looking pretty good so far. Okay. Let's go back to the default state and we will barely get anything done in this entire live stream because my computer is so slow. But now if we just mess with them. We have one artboard, we have a component that's inside, and we are just going right back and forth. Now you could add a lot of different things here. Let's go back to our design. What's cool is that we can take our, well, we could. Well, we could. All right. Well, we could make this a lot bigger. We make it everything really bigger. We could line these things up like so. We could grab these elements like the title and the name and group them together. We could repeat grid. We could have a lot of different tasks that are going on there. And as we're going down, we could be flipping these off one at a time. And what's happening here is we've done this with one component, with one piece of design. And we didn't have to create multiple artboards for all these different states. Imagine this one being meditation and breathing and the next one being downward dog and the next one being child's pose. And as the user is going down the list, they're just checking these off and we're affecting like each one individually without having to have one, two, three, four, five, six, like six or seven different artboards to show those states. This actually goes back. If we could take this, this use of components all the way back to uh, day two, I think it was where we did our, our fitness tracker, we could instead make those with, with our graph that was circling around, we could have made each one of those tasks a component state and been able to click them on and off because each one of these are overridable. Just a really, really nice flow. So I tell you what, we're getting close uh, to the end here. We got a few minutes left. And so I think what I want to do is just kick over um, and see if we can't. I'm going to go back to the big this big shot here while I try to open up uh, Discord and Behance again and see if we can't review some of the previous work from the daily creative challenge. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching the challenge, even though there's a little bit of technical difficulties. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate you guys uh, sticking with me through it. So uh, we'll probably get those things ironed out and, and fixed and be a little bit better off tomorrow than we were today. Okay, so uh, just trying to open up Discord right now. And there we go. So let's jump over to my screen, we have Discord here, and uh, we have a couple of really good shots. So let's just go back and look at some of these a little bit more in depth if we can, if the computer will allow us, okay? So here's an app design concept. Even got some of that animation going on in there. Check it out. Wow, super nice. I, I like the similar shape that I had, but I love, I'm so excited that this person included uh, a lot of those extra details of like the e-commerce experience because you can't always just have it be just so simple and so easy, right? So uh, fitting a lot of that content in there, that bottom navigation did a really good job. And this, these animations, these interactions are really great. Some of these could have been, some of these could have been states for sure. Okay, let's, uh, let's see some other ones. This one is uh, an example of one of the other days we did kind of like a fitness tracker and this person took that same idea and went tablet or desktop view. It would be really awesome and interesting to see all of the different um, like animations and things that could come off of that one. Here's here's uh, a little bit more of a like the shoe e-commerce experience that we were working on. And if we can get this one loaded up, look at the drag gestures. Oh, that's spicy. Now, I'm not sure if you meant for this little element down below to be moving while the shoes are moving, but that drag gesture is clean. I love the change of scale. I love that auto animate transition. Really, really cool. You know what you can try is, uh, my man Howard Pinsky taught me this trick, is you can, while you're dragging them, you can maybe create a mask with those images. And as you're dragging them, you could have the image inside growing as things are sliding over. So you can play with some of the scale of that masked image. That could be really, really fun too. Let's look at one more and uh, and see, oh, here's there's that same one. I wanna see, this is a really similar look, right? Like we're sliding over. I think this is probably the same submission, just 
just built out a little bit more, I would love to see the animation between the two. And so if my machine was working a little bit better, I would do that, but I don't wanna risk it. So we're just gonna say amazing work, excellent work how you've done it right now. So let's, I think we have time for one more. Here's a little video, do we even dare? Oh, I wish we could get that bigger. Can we get that bigger? No, maybe not, that's okay. That is okay. Oh, there it is. It got a little bit bigger. Let's see. Let's 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 replay it. Here's a nice animation going. Ooh, I love it. It just scales. That's so simple and easy. Nice heart animation. That could be a component state. Absolutely. But I love how it just goes from here, slides in, and all the other stuff fades in. You could do some more extra stuff and move things in and out, but this is great. This is actually what you would expect to see like simple, great handoff to developers, production ready kind of animations and considerations. So uh, absolutely love it. I wanna make sure that you guys uh, post your work up to Behance after you're done with it today. I'm gonna be in the Discord uh, for a while today answering your questions and reviewing your work, but make sure you post it up there using that hashtag XDDailyChallenge so we can search for it on Behance. It'd be a lot of fun to see your work up there. Thank you guys. Also stay around, we have a lot more streams coming up for the day and I'm gonna be here for the rest of the week with a better functioning computer and making things work like really, really nice. So we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for sticking around for the XD Daily Creative Challenge.